I'm the Maths Prof and in this video I'm going to show you how to work out the area of a sector. Now a sector, it looks like this, is just basically a slice from a circle. So if you already know how to work out the area of a circle, then working out the area of a sector is really a piece of cake. So just remind yourselves of the equation, the formula, to work out the area of a circle. A equals pi r squared. So if we use that formula, that will calculate the area of an entire circle. Well, here, we only want the area of part of that circle, just a slice taken from the circle. So what you need to do is take the number of degrees, so 46 degrees, and write that as a fraction of a whole circle. Well, in a whole circle, we have 360 degrees. So you need to write that 46 out of 360. Now, we've got the fraction of the circle here. You could simplify it, but we don't need to. We're going to use the calculator for this question. All you need to do next is multiply that with the formula for the area of a circle. So I'm going to times that by pi, and then I need to times by the radius squared. Well, if you imagine the whole circle, well, this is the centre of the circle here, you can see the radius has been given to us. It's 8 centimetres, so you just times by 8. So when you put that in the calculator, don't worry about writing in the degrees. You just write 46 over 360. I just wrote degrees here just to show you where that came from. So write your fraction and then multiply, find pi on your calculator and times by 8 squared. And you get 25.6912 dot dot dot. And I'm going to round this answer to three significant figures. So that means I want three numbers, so one, two, three, but the fourth digit here, the nine, rounds that digit up to seven, so it's 25.7. If you're not very confident at rounding to three significant figures, then check out my other video on rounding. And one last thing with this question, don't forget the units. Area is always squared. So because the dimensions here were in centimetres, our units at the end are centimetres squared. Okay, so remember, to work out the area of a sector, you need to know the number of degrees inside that sector. So in this question here, we haven't actually been given the number of degrees inside the sector. We've been given the degrees outside. So our first step is just to work out how many degrees we've got here. So in a full circle, you've got 360 degrees. So you need to minus those degrees that are outside to work out the number of degrees inside. So that's the first step. Next, you need to write those degrees as a fraction. Okay, so we've got 250 as the numerator and the denominator is always 360 because that's how many degrees you have in a full circle. Now remember the formula for area of a circle is A equals pi r squared. So we need to use that. That's the formula to work out the area of an entire circle, but we only want this section of the circle here. So we need to times that formula by our fraction. So you're timesing by pi and timesing by the radius squared. Well, the radius in this question is given here, so we're going to multiply by 9 squared. So next, just put that in the calculator. So you've got a fraction, 250 over 360, multiplied by pi, multiplied by 9 squared. So that gives me 176.714 dot dot dot. I'm going to round to three significant figures again. So three digits, one, two, three. But the fourth digit, seven, rounds that six up one. So it's actually 177. Not forgetting the units, this time the radius was in metres, so our area is in metres squared. So there you go, finding the area of a sector.